Hey guys, you're tuning in to uh, Drafting Tutorials. Uh, my name's Casey. I hope you guys are having a good one. Uh, in today's video, I just want to cover the uh, the datums here, which uh, reference a surface. So, for example, this datum right here, datum B, is referencing this surface on this drawing. Okay? And this drawing you're looking at right now is the top view of an object. And over here, on this side, we have a profile view of that same object, okay? Now, this, this drawing isn't complete, um, so if you notice stuff that's missing, um, of course, that, that would be why. Uh, what I'm going to show you, though, is how to set up your datums. So, uh, getting started, your datum is going to use the MLS or multi-leader style settings and I've set one up here for you basically what you're gonna do now when you when you first get in here you're not gonna have these set up alright I created these two I've created these two uh, multi-leader styles already the only thing you're gonna have is standard so you'd wanna hit new that's gonna create a new style for you and then from there you can just come in and modify it but what you wanna do is set your uh, Depending on your standards, you're going to set your arrowhead. You're going to leave all this up here in the general. Just leave all that uh, at default. The only thing you'll really change is just make sure this type says straight. Um, under arrowhead, change your symbol to datum triangle filled. You're going to set your size to 0 0.1250, which is an eighth of an inch. Um, you know, if, if you're using a different standard, set it to that standard. Uh, go to leader structure. From leader structure, on the default, you're going to have this check marked where it says automatically include landing on your leaders. Uh, you're going to uncheck mark that because you don't use landings on these uh, datums. The other thing you want to do, if you're using, say, like a 2 to 1 scale, which I am for this drawing, you want to change your uh, default, which is 1.000 change it to the specific scale that you're using. Um, <clears throat> then under the content tab, you're going to change your multi-leader type to block. Uh, block options, you're going to change source block to box. Leave the uh, center extents and the color. We'll just leave those alone. Uh, leave your scale at 1.0000. Hit OK. And then close. Okay. So for this uh, for this example, I'm just going to make sure I have my style set <clears throat> for uh, these datums, and we'll create a datum real quick. And what you should get is something that looks like this: pulls straight off from the surface, and it's. Uh, parallel to your object line. Once you click on it, you can label and make up your surface label. So for this one, I just I just did uh, datum D, okay? Uh, now that's not what the, the label is for that surface. It could be if I wanted it to, but this is just for an example. And that's how you would create your, your datums, all right? Uh, that's all I have for this video. If you found it beneficial, go ahead and hit the like button. You can subscribe to the channel. I'm shooting videos on Inventor, uh, AutoCAD, and Revit. Okay, I'm going through school right now for my uh, drafting degree, and I'm shooting videos as I go, just kind of as a, a reminder and a refresher uh, for later on if I decide I want to start using some of this stuff in my own drawings. Uh, when I'm working for a company. So uh, stay tuned. Keep watching, guys. Hope you guys are having a good one, and I will talk to you later.